Hi, my name is Sarah Durham. I am a member at Home Moravian Church, and I'm here today to talk to you about what it's like to be a young adult Moravian. In May, I graduated from Moravian College, and since then, I've returned back to church. I have participated in candle tea and serving love feast. I've joined the choir, the Christian Education Committee, and I am now a youth group leader. I list those activities for a reason. About a month ago, I overheard some church members discussing young adults in the church. They didn't know I was in the room next to them, so they spoke freely on the subject. They said, and I quote, it is not important for us to bring in any young adult Moravians right now because they are lazy, they don't commit to anything, and most importantly, they don't give enough money to the church. End quote. It's church members who think like this that are driving young adults away. I am the only active young adult member in my church. Keep in mind that doesn't include the college age members or the Easter church people. It's me. Uh, the closest members to my age are high school students or parents. So why? Why is our generation almost completely unrepresented? Why are almost no young adults coming to church when if you stand at any point in Winston-Salem, there's a Moravian church within a five-mile radius of you. Also, we have multiple colleges and universities in the area, so why are we not reaching out to them? Is it because young adults are, in fact, lazy, uncommitted, and poor? I don't think so. I question if the Moravian church realizes how important church is for young adults. I want you to think of a difficult time in your life or a time you're going through a transition or a change. Did you go to church? And did it help you? In your 20s and 30s, you go through so many life changes that having that gr support group behind you is essential to keeping a strong faith. So what if young adults are in fact lazy and uncommitted and don't give enough money? If your church can make a difference in someone's life, why should that matter? Now it sounds like I don't appreciate all the things that the church has done for me, so I'm going to list a few of those things for you. The church established my foundation and built me. I found a love for history. I found a love for music. I met my best friends. I found my dream college. I attended church camp, mission camp, a mission trip to Indiana. I attended college age convo where I learned more about myself and my religion and became friends with young adults from around the country and from around the world. I learned the importance of service. I learned what it's like to have an entire community support you. I learned what I believe. And all those things made me who I am today. But I will say it would be nice to have a friend or two my age to talk to when church ends. From a membership standpoint, if we don't start bringing in young adults now, who will be attending church in 30 to 40 years from now? Me? <laughs> so here's the golden question that I'm always asked when I bring up the lack of young adults in church. I get something along the lines of, okay, yeah, Sarah, that's great, but like how? Um, and <laughs> older church members look at me like I have three heads. When I respond, you just have to reach out to them and make an effort. Here's a few things you can do. Create a young adult group at your church. Make sure you stay in contact with current college student members. Reach out to colleges near you. Have a, have a current young adult member invite friends to church. Invite young adults to Wednesday night fellowship. We love to eat food. Start a Bible study group specific to the age. You can even use programs you already have in your church and just make them relevant to young adults. And there are a few easy things you can do to reach young adults. But in order for this to work, you need to have someone in your church that is dedicated and passionate to bringing in this population. If you don't, want, if you don't actually want young adults, we're not gonna show up and we're not gonna stay. It is essential to have young adults in the church because we bring skills and a new perspective that is not currently present in the church. The church will flourish with a young adult population. Think of all the good we could do for your church. Extra helping hands, we could be your Sunday school teachers, your youth group leaders. Every member brings their own special gift to church. That's why we fill out our time and talent sheets every year. And young adults bring their own set of skills. Now here's the good news. You still have time. It's not too late. Consider the ideas I've brought today and think how can you apply them to your church. On the other hand, the bad news is if you don't start bringing in young adult members now, and 50 years from now, I will be the only one left. And to answer the question, what is it like to be a young adult Moravian? It's lonely. 
And if we dedicate ourselves to bringing in this population, we can change that. Thank you.